Hi guys, this is JH Dream, and right now I'm going to be showing you HDC Sense 3.0 Android 2.3.3 on the Sprint HDC Hero. Um, okay, so first we're going to talk about the lock screen. Um, right here, you have the four easy access apps, which are all changeable, and to access them, you just grab one, and then you drag it into the circle, and it'll open it straight from the lock screen, which is really nice if you're trying to access something really quick. And then... So to unlock it, you just grab the nice looking ring down here and you drag it right up. And then you're into the home screen. And at the home screen, as you can see, at the clock, you'll see that it actually flips unlike on the stock HTC ROM. I mean the stock um, Sense ROM for the Hero. And so first we're going to talk about the home screen and widgets. Uh, so at the home screen you can see is the app drawer icon changed and then there's a new personalized icon and then so you have the friend stream widget which is Facebook you have your email widget you have your weather widget then you have this new people widget and then the same music widget and so uh, when you get into personalized this is really nice this new feature the personalized feature and from here you have the scenes uh, the scenes are just all these nice little um, custom things for like people to like fit what you want or your style and then you have the wallpapers and for this ROM it supports the live wallpapers which is really nice and then you have the skins, which I like a lot. You can see that um, it changes the bottom bars and changes the theme of the phone, which is really nice. Um, you can also get more, and they look really nice. And then you have the lock screen, um, so you can change the icons at the lock screen for your needs. And then you also have the widgets, um, which is just um, the HTC widgets right here. Um, and your downloaded widgets and then you have the browse all HTC widgets which is really nice you can go through all your widgets and there's so many um, they're just pretty much the same widgets just like redesigned and different looking but since there's so much to choose from it's just really nice because you can customize this phone so much with this ROM and okay so from there we're gonna go home and we're gonna go into the um, notifications bar and you can drag that down and then here are your recent um, apps that you've been on and then right here will be your notifications and if you get a lot it scrolls actually and then down here you have quick settings and this is your auto rotation your brightness your Wi-Fi your Bluetooth your Wi-Fi hotspot that's a new feature but currently it's not working but um, you can always go to the um, to the market and get wireless tether. This should be working though in future updates and then you have your GPS and it's really nice notifications bar. Okay so now we're gonna go into the app drawer and as you can see um, this is your all this is your all apps icon so you'll come in here and then you'll have all your apps in here and so from here it's not like an unlimited scroll anymore it's scroll by pages so you have your apps here and then you'll have another page and the more you get the more pages you get and so then you'll have your recent and favorites and frequently used and then you'll have your downloaded it's really nice how they separated all these it makes it quick to find the apps you want it looks really good okay so we're gonna basically run through apps real quick the calculator is pretty much exactly the same okay and then calendar is the same, call history is the same, the camcorder and camera are different. Um, the camcorder looks like the new raw, um, like the new Android 2.3.3, which is really nice. Um, the only problem with it is that the zooming, when you zoom, it messes it up and it'll freeze. But then on the right side, you'll have all these extra features. Um, just the zooming, it makes it really bad. Um, but in future updates, that should be fixed. Not such a big problem camera still works fine and then um, 
the clock and then I downloaded that and then you have your downloads I um your downloads app then you have your file manager friends stream which is your Facebook thing the gallery your email Google search the new HTC hub the internet and the learn more but the HTC hub this is like add-ons for stuff you don't have on your um for the HTC sense um like apps a app add-ons more widgets um, found sets, new scenes, this is how you get the new scenes, new skins, wallpapers, ringtones, and notification sounds and alarm sounds. It's pretty nice. And then we'll go back in here and then you'll have your mail. Um, that's pretty much the same. Your market, your market should look more updated if you haven't updated yours already. But switching to this wrong will automatically update it because you're getting the most recent. And then so if you go back to the home, it's completely redone. There's a lot more graphics and design into this one. It looks really nice. It's a little sluggish though, but um, I think the way it looks um, makes it okay. And you just have all your different sections right in here. And that's pretty much it. And then uh, you'll just have your music app. I mean your messaging app, which is a little more redone. It looks more um, like they made it look smoother and a lot nicer. So you'll just like make a new me message, and then the text, the new keyboard. It might not look different, but it is amazing um, for any hero users. You'll know how irritating it is to use the keyboard because you'll always click the wrong one. This one's so much bigger, and then like. Um, if you turn it into landscape mode, it's amazing because they made it more sensitive to the key you want to click. And then you have the little attachment and send thing. It just looks really nice, the redone look. And so then from there, um, the music, the music, it looks a lot, it looks really nice, the new app. And so if you'll, oops, and then if you'll come in here, you'll see that it has new icons at the bottom for artists. Then um, the albums, then playlists, and then the songs. And then if you look at the songs, um, the scrolling's a little different now. Um, here, look, I'll play a song. Or I'm gonna. Um, you can see that the new scrolling, it's different. You can actually come through this really quick, and it looks really nice. It makes it more like an iPhone. It gets um, kind of slow though and laggish. But yep. Yeah. And then so that's the new music app. And then you have your people. The people app, uh, it's pretty much the same. It's just a little nicer looking. They made it a little more, the, um, they made it look a little more refined. And then the scrolling is amazing on the new apps. It's so fast. And then you have the phone. The phone is exactly the same. People search. Um, set CPU is an optional thing. I got this on the market. This is so I could, um, overclock my processor to make the ROM move smoother. Then you have the settings set up super users and then you have task manager which is like an app killer. You have the new videos app and voicemail and weather. So that's pretty much it. And then the new look is really nice. I like all the new features and then this it's a little snappier now. And then so um, I'm going to be making a video on how to get this for anybody who's still watching. If you want to get this, I'm going to have a video posted later today or tomorrow. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. Send me a message if you need anything. I will do custom um, ROM requests if you want me to do a ROM for you or show you how to get a ROM that you want to get but you're unsure about getting it because you don't know if it's going to work or if it's going to break your phone. Just tell me. I'll try it out and then I'll make a video for you. So thanks for watching. Bye.